Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is Salman Masood and this is the remaining part of my Smart Blur project. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, in the last video we have discussed about this page that was product page. Okay, we have you know the successfully fetched this data on our page. Let's just inspect that. Okay, as you can see that uh, on the left hand side, okay, on this side, we have uh, a div over here that is all empty and we do not want to have this uh, div over here because it was present in template and, and I am not willing to have this, okay. So, I am just removing it, you just have to search the class related raw and okay, I am trying, I should put an image over here instead of removing this and that image uh, will represent your ads on your, your website okay uh, right now i am doing it hard code and i am putting a image okay let's just see refresh this okay it's taking time okay now you can see there is an image but uh, let's just make a better css for this image it's full size and uh, coming out of this div so let's just put it better in a better way. Okay, I'm picking it width 20%. Okay, that's not very much feasible, and I should put it 100% of the diff because it is present inside the diff. Okay, well, I'm not here to explain you all CSS, but I, I just do it for all those beginners who never worked on CSS like this. So I just do all these things, but my target is always to teach you the backend programming. Along the backend programming, I do this all the thing for the beginners. Okay, so don't get bored. Okay, uh, I just copy it and paste the style over here. The best practice is to make uh, CSS on browser first, and then just copy and paste on your real html okay now refresh the page okay now you can see when i click on this product that is fetched from database in the last part we have uh, made this product now i should show you that from where this product is coming from it is coming from a product table okay in the very first part uh, i know that i had uh, explained uh, the data schema of uh, this project so if you are new to this uh, series then i must suggest you to watch all these remaining part that i have made in the past okay i am querying select all from system.tables Okay, my table name is product. So I'm writing it select all from TBL products. Okay, now you can see there are two products Oppo A37 F1 Pro, and all the both of the product are displaying on this page that is electronic page. Okay, okay now when I click this, what happens? It uh, takes me to another page which is product detail and uh, takes the uh, query ID, the primary ID of the product, but uh, there is no unfortunately page uh, product detail in our project right now. So we have to make this. So in this video, we will make this. Okay, let's just go to the home controller and uh, make an action result. Okay, just copy it and paste. very nice then just rename your okay now just remove all the you know business logic code and uh, I have to go to the repository and uh, define a business logic over there if that uh, action name is product okay what I have defined for navigating on the next page so I'm going to 
copy and paste because I do not want to get error. Okay, let's just see. The pro action name is product details. Okay, and it's taking an ID, primary ID, and taking to the next page. As you can see, ID is equals to item pro ID. Okay, just copy it and paste on the action result. That is a new method you have made in this scene. Okay. And let's just add a video, uh, sorry, add a view. Okay. Payout is selected. In the second part of the video, I have uh, thought uh, that how to create a layout page in which we have header and footer and all the remaining constant HTML. Okay, now you can see we have successfully made a page that is product detail, but we do not have any HTML on this page. Okay, so we have to define the view HTML. Okay, uh, let's just see this what happens. Uh, I'm coming from the beginning. Okay, when I click on a home page and uh, there is a category, I click on category mobile and then I navigated to this page and when I click Oppo A37, okay, you can see successfully it is getting a primary ID one and when I click on two, when I click on this, it takes its parameter over here, that is two, okay, okay, many of you will ask that why should I show this ID? It is not really much secure okay but uh, you can you know uh, this is a public uh, asset the product is public asset everyone has to watch it whether you are logging or not whether you are authorized or not you just have to show it then why to secure this okay now when you will come to the uh, provided HTML that I have uh, provided you a default template that I downloaded from the internet and I'm using it so you will find a page over there that is single.html I will use the single.html over here to display all the you know product detail or of the specific product detail on which you have clicked so you can see that default template that is very much better for this project so I'm going to use it how I'm going to inspect the middle part of the page and now I'm just going to copy it Okay, let's just see it's not really much hard task but it takes time okay let's add it as HTML okay copy and let's move over here and paste it work is done now check Now you can see successfully uh, you have made a product detail and you have all the HTML but the images are not displaying because the image reference are not correct but we will fetch these image from database not a static image will be there because if we click on Oppo 837 only the image of Oppo 837 will be displayed on this page okay now let's just remove this heading we do not want it over here now okay let's just refresh the page to check Okay, fine, that's better. Now let's just fetch these detail on this page that we have made. Okay, and we want all this information of the database on my view page. When I click on my page uh, on any specific product, all the detail will be fetched on this product. So we have to make a business logic. So let's just move. Okay, as you can see in the previous part of my video, I have made a repository uh, interface product repository which is implementing iProduct. Okay, interface is iProduct, and I have a method over here that returns a product, and it is not implemented yet. Okay, now I'm going to write a business logic. I'm going to write a code for that. So I have to just fetch a single record. So I will use single default method of a link query. It makes my work very easier and you know what my daughter is laying beside me and keep watching that what my father is doing right now and the reason of not making video was like my personal life 
I was very much disturbed and Alhamdulillah everything is fine now and she's making a little bit noise and guys please do subscribe to my channel and keep watching and sharing and do remember me in your dua that's a very important thing whether you subscribe or not just remember your teacher in dua it's, it will be an honor for me okay let's just return this product okay there is an error let's just correct it the table wall name was TBL product uh, because I cannot fetch in product I had made a view model that was product so I have to uh, you know pass all the data in my product table so let's just make an object product key. We do not have to write so much code because in the previous video we have made all the business logic. So let's just do a smart work and copy from view product and paste over here. Okay, fine. Now you can see. Okay, there is an error item. So do not worry. Instead of changing the item, change the P instead of item. Okay, very nice. Work perfectly done. In a few seconds, I write the business logic just copying and paste. Copy and paste is the you know blessing for for us. Okay, guys, let's just call this method. You as you can see, there is a method get product by ID and pass the ID. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Okay, if ID is null or zero, because if someone tries to write the URL directly without writing an ID, an error will be shown on this page that there is no product or I am providing the error message in view data. And I believe that all of you are familiar with the view data. View data is an approach to pass data from controller to the view. When you are not interacting with the model, you use three approaches that is view data, temp data, and view back. And view back and view data are almost similar, but temp data is quite different. Temp data is also present on the another page. And uh, view back and view data is quite different. They act like same, but they are different uh, because in view data I have to type cast the thing I have cast type cast the object okay. let's just pass this method and view data and this method also returns an object and I will hold the object in a view data okay. view data data or this let's check it now okay let's copy it and go to the view page and we are willing to display this data on our page Okay, I'm looking for image. You can see all these images are static image, and I do not want any static image over here, so I will remove all these image. Okay, I have to write a razor syntax if view data is sorry if uh, view data if view data message is not equal to null. That means we didn't find any product on controller on action result so we will show an error 
otherwise we will show all the remaining HTML if view data message is null that means we have found the data and we'll show the HTML and if view data message is not equal to null then there will be an error on this page okay fine That's good. Uh, okay, let's just do the color is red. Okay. And text line is center. Now control F5 and run this project and check it out. My little daughter is still making noise and I really love it. Please guys do remember me your peers and my daughter and all my family. Okay, let's just check it. Okay, you can see there is no ID I have provided in the URL, so it is showing that there is no product found. Okay. And when I provide up ID, it is showing okay, correct. Okay. Okay guys, that's all for this video. Actually, I have made this video in the beginning, you know, but uh, there was uh, there was a voice quality, uh, you know, problem. So I didn't. I have to make make a voiceover on for this video. That was really a hectic process. And please just uh, watch this video. In the next video, I will try to make a better quality. And uh, I have made a vlogger uh, in which I am providing all the you know. Uh, latest technology that is ASP.NET Core, React and everything that I have learned recently so I am uh, giving you all my information to learn okay you can just go and visit my this blog and uh, read all the articles and in the coming video I will make uh, some more new videos so please do subscribe and keep in touch thank you Allah Hafiz